calculate the slope of the line passing through 2, 2, and 6, 8. We have a formula for calculating the slope of a line if we know two points on that line. The formula is m slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now those are the coordinates of the point. So the first point is going to be x1, y1, and the second point is our x2, y2. Sometimes at this point, students haven't seen variables with subscripts. A little number underneath a variable down into the right is called a subscript. The reason we use these is so that we can use variables that are descriptive. We couldn't just put x comma y for both of these because they're two different points. We could do a comma b and c comma d, but if we did that, it's not really clear what a represents or what c represents. In this case, x1 represents the x-coordinate of the first point, y1 represents the y-coordinate of the first point, x2 represents the x-coordinate of the second point, and y2 represents the y-coordinate of the second point. And this is easier for us to use the formula. So if we start to substitute in the values that we have, we start with y2, that's going to be the y-coordinate of the second point, which in this case is 8. So we've got 8 minus y1. Now y1 is going to be the y-coordinate of the first point, which is 2. So we end up with 8 minus 2. Effectively, we're taking the difference in the y-coordinates because that's what gives us the rise. In the denominator, we have x2 minus x1. So we take the second x-coordinate, which is 6, the x-coordinate of the second point, minus x1, the x-coordinate of the first point up here is 2, and so we have 6 minus 2 in the denominator. Now we can evaluate 8 minus 2 is 6, and 6 minus 2 is 4, and 6 fourths reduces to 3 halves, so the slope of that line is going to be 3 halves.